So recently I've been doing a lot of recording and session work, so I really haven't been using much of my pedals or even my amp. I've been using mainly just plug-in. But now I have some gigs coming up, so I need to put together my live rig. So I just need to get prepared and organized, and what better way to do that than to completely redo my pedal situation, starting fresh on a new clean canvas that is a pedal board sent from Van Goa, and of course, dialing in the proper tones. So let's unbox this bad boy check out what's included and then I will go through all of my pedals. A box in a box. Voila. Uh, all right, I'm getting a knife and I cannot do this my hand. So this is a high quality aluminum pedal board weighing in about, I think it's 2.8 pounds. It's got adjustable legs so you can get that tilt when it's on the ground, it's easier to access with your foot. It comes with a really nice travel bag, so when you're going from gig to gig, uh, it's got a few pockets too, you can put some extra strings, cables, and all that. It comes with ties that can help you with cable management and being more organized. And of course, Velcro for the pedals. So looking at this board, it can probably hold up to 12 or so compact pedals, and maybe like six larger ones. I really don't have too large of pedals. I think the reverberator and the deco are the biggest ones I have. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put all of these pedals on the board. I really won't use most of these. I kind of just like the tone I get out of my uh, Sheriff 22. It's like a flexi style. I definitely want the reverb, so the rever reverberator's going on there. The deco is just a workhorse. This is V1. I know they have a V2, which I probably should get, but this is still just as good. Definitely gonna need the tuner. Definitely gonna put this. This is the Boost of the Dead uh, V3 from Farm Pedals. Probably one of my favorite pedals of all time. It's a boost, but it also gives you really, really, really good transparent tones as well, and it just makes your overall sound so much better. You could technically use it as an overdrive pedal too. Um, you have two foot switches and then these knobs control uh, how much boost you want. Um, this one is uh, Mythos Chupacabra. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using it on my, on this specific board. Uh, this pedal is also one of my like secret to good tones, the Dumble Drive from Donner. They don't even make these anymore. Uh, they sent this to me almost two years ago. It's still on my board today. So this board kind of seems to be very overdrive heavy. I know that's kind of weird since I'm playing out of like a Marshall Plexi style amp, but I don't like fully crank these. I, they kind of, I use them all in unison of, we, of each other. Need the reverb. This skull reverberator is easily one of the most normal, not crazy reverbs, not super ambient. It doesn't do all those like shimmer tricks and stuff. It's very basic, but it does the basic thing perfect. This is the Monument from Walrus Audio. It is pretty much just like a harmonic tremolo and a standard tremolo. Now I do have other pedals out there that friends have borrowed. I have some more in my closet. I'm just not going to use them. Um, I hate having a ridiculous amount of pedals because it just gives me too much to work with. And then I end up trying to use all of it and the tone kind of gets swampy. Just That's just my preference. So I'm going to keep it to just these pedals, excluding the Chupacabra. All right, so let's just set the board up and just see what it looks like. And just again, I get a good idea. Yeah. So we really only have eight pedals in this thing. I'm really not including this because I kind of already have enough overdrives and just boosts on here. I just don't, it's not necessary. It is a great sounding pedal though. It does that ZZ top thing. So I'm gonna get all this cabled up. I'm using the MXR uh, ISO brick and then I'll uh, start go running through some sounds. So I have the pedal order all ready to go. Now I just have to dial in each of them just to kind of get the best sound. You should always start with your amp's tone first. If you have this dialed in properly, the rest will be a breeze. But if you hate and you seem to be always fighting with your amp's tone as is, you're gonna run into a lot of trouble. Now I have it dialed in a little gainy. <laughs> I'm gonna bring that back just a little bit because I have lots of gain style pedals on here anyway. Okay, that's where I like my tone, so that's what I'm gonna start with. Now the first pedal I'm gonna start dialing in is actually going to be the uh, Boost of the Dead from Farm Pedals. Reason being because I love the sound of this thing and I want to base the rest of the gain style pedals uh, to this. Now this thing can almost give you a fuzz-like sound, so when I just crank, the, the first, we'll just call it knob or channel, and this is what it can sound like. I just boosted that bright switch a little bit, just to give me a little more top end. 
The second knob or channel, whatever you want to call it, or foot switch, will give me more brightness. So here's this with that. So this is my regular tone. gives me a little bit more gain. I'm going to dial that back a little bit. Here's that one dialed all the way in. Now moving on, I'm actually going to jump over to the compression. I don't use compression too often. I just like to use it uh, more as like a feel kind of thing. It just re like responds to my hands as I'm playing. This is just my clean tone. Now here's with the compression on. Too much. So I just made it a little spankier. That's kind of all I really need, need to use it for. I don't really need it for much else. Deco, I will probably use just for that extra tape saturation. And here's what that sounds like. Here's my normal tone. It warms up a little bit. I will use that only in certain situations. That, and I can also use it as an overdrive. So for an example, here is. But what I'm really going to use it for is like that chorusy, maybe even flange sound, but also like that double tracking slapbacky sound. So now this is as far as the tape delay goes. I'm not going to use it for that. I will probably be more in this round, like the. I'm gonna jump to my favorite uh, pedal to dial in, the reverb, the golden reverberator in particular. So many sounds out of this thing. I think I'm gonna stick to like a plate and haul um, just for the sound that I'm going for for the gig coming up. I don't need super crazy ambient reverb, so I'm just gonna try and dial in just, just, just a little bit. I personally like Decay a little uh, longer and the mix knob down a little bit. So here's what we're starting with. too much. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. I'm going to take down the modulation. I don't need all that. Uh, I'm going to boost the treble and bring down the bass. Now from the deco to the reverberator is actually running through the effects loop. It just gets really muddy when I put it straight through the amp. So I just have the deco, the monument, and the uh, delay and the reverberator going through that. And then the bottom four pedals, the tuner, compressor, double drive, and the uh, farm pedals, boost of the dead, going through the front of the amp. Now for the monument, I like to have a little bit of harm trem, maybe even during solos. I pretty much keep everything normal. I don't get too wacky with it, but here is an example. <laughs> sounding uh, sort of like an Ariel Posen kind of sound. He's actually the reason why I uh, got into the monument. I saw him using it on one of his boards. Love the sound, so that's why I got it. But mixing with the compression and reverb, it's a really great clean sound with just a little bit of modulation. I could add chorus with the stride with the uh, deco if I wanted to. For me, I'm just gonna keep it at the double at the uh, double tracker. Now, when I want to kick things up a notch, I have that farm pedal, like I said. But if 
I want that little push. I can use that Dumble Drive for that extra little boost. And I know I'm kind of reversing the roles of the uh, Boost of the Dead and the Dumble Drive. The Dumble Drive should be giving me the drive sound and the Boost of the Dead should give me that boost hence the name, but I'm kind of doing the opposite because I just like how they work together. So here's with the Boost of the Dead on, and here's with the Double Drive added on top. Off. So this just covers all spectrums of the sounds that I'll be playing at the gig. I have those clean sounds with a little extra modulation with the reverb pretty much always on. And if I, I can play that funky stuff. I want a little extra drive, I can throw on that dumble. really want to go crazy. So thanks for watching this video and big thanks to Van Goa for sending me this pedal board in perfect timing since I'm doing all these gigs now. Let me know if you have any questions about the board or my pedals and my setup down below and I will see you in the next video.